Hi everybody, this is Joe from Joe's Premium Firewood bringing you another fun-filled, exciting video today. In, vi in the, today's video, uh, I'm just going to show you what my current inventory is. Uh, it's been since March 26, or nine months ago since I last took inventory, made an inventory video, so I thought I'd do another one. Well, let's get at it. Um, obviously, this is my splitting area. I know there's a mess there, but I'll... Uh, I'll be uh, cleaning that up once it gets a little bit bigger. But um, in here we have uh, a pile of about three truckloads of mostly white oak that will be ready in uh, in the fall of 2013. And then right here we have uh, what I call the gravy logs. These were standing dead or on the ground dead um, oak or white oak or sassafras, just a couple pieces of that, but um, oh, and there's some ash in there too, but these are ready to split and go right out to market. They're already dry, as you can see, all the bark's off them, and, you know, they're ready to go, nice and seasoned. Over here, I got some uh, white oak logs that, that fell, a branch fell from a large tree, and those are also ready to go. Um, this pile right here is a pile that we use to burn. It's where I put all my scrap pieces that for one reason or another were too big, too small, or whatever, oddly shaped, and I just can't sell to my customers. Now this is some nice red oak, except it's got all this fungus growing on the bark, and my customers don't want that crap. Um, and you can see we got, I also got another pile that we burn over here. And this this is uh, more of the junk or the ugly wood. And you can see some of these like looks like they had carpenter ants living in them. But you know what? Waste not, want not. So back to the video. Wanted to make it today before the snow hits. It's, uh, it's pretty windy and cold out there right now. Snowstorm's coming. Hope everybody had a nice Christmas yesterday. Um, back here is my main dry storage area. Um, I've got several uh, piles and stacks. Um, this stack right here, that's about at least two truckloads, and that'll be ready in the fall of 2013. Now this big stack across the back wall, mostly made up of like ash, and there's some also black locust and red oak in there. But this is the pile I'm currently working off of. Um, I, this is where I, I put my uh, standing dead, like uh, the logs that you've seen back there. When I split those, I bring them back here, and then I can immediately sell them. And I would guess that I've uh, sold and restacked that pile probably three times in the last two months and uh, it's about 15 feet long and about seven feet tall and this stack right next to it is also one that I work off of so as I split it's all dry and I only put dry stuff that's ready to sell back onto it and this pile right here is mostly uh, red oak and black walnut um, this won't be ready until the fall of uh, 2013 and it's about two truckloads. This pile right here is also a fall of 2013, mostly red oak, a little bit of white oak in there. Now this pile will be ready in March of 2013. It is poplar, black walnut, and red oak. And this is going to be mainly for my campfire customers for the summer's coming up when summer gets here. And back here, this rack is made up of red oak, ash, there's even some birch, white oak, silver maple, just a little bit of everything in there, and it's almost full. Um, I have a nice log that I'm going to get that's down in our woods. I'm going to do that later this week, cut it up, and once I split it, it should fill that remaining area right there. So, like I said, this will be ready in the, in the fall two, 2013. And there's about three truckloads there. And back here, 
got quite a bit stored. Um, this is more of the uh, the black walnut, poplar, red oak summer stuff. And that pile there too. I would guess between the two piles, there's uh, three truckloads of firewood. And then <clears throat> this split firewood is uh, white oak and black walnut. Probably two truckloads worth should be ready in uh, fall 2013. This pile is uh, is black oak and hickory. I mean black walnut and hickory, sorry. And that should be fall 13. And then right here, these logs I split uh, in the summer. I mean uh, cut in the summer and. I would guess there is close to three truckloads of uh, logs right there of uh, hickory and black walnut. And once I sell these these piles back here, plus the pile on the rack, once once those are sold, I'm going to split these, and these should be ready in, in the fall 13 once they're split. So they've been sitting out here drying out for so long. And these right here are. Uh, White, white oak down there, and then the rest of it's uh, red oak. And I'm going to do the same thing. These have been sitting here since the late summer, early fall, and uh, once once those are those are sold, between these two piles of logs, I'm going to uh, you know split and replenish these, and then I'll have to go out to Augusta to my log supplier or in uh, Prairieville to my log supplier and then replace the logs in here and then repeat, repeat the same process. So uh, that's about it. Um, got my little, uh, I moved my uh, saw block back here, but yeah, as you can see, there's uh, this is our woods. My neighbor lets me get the dead trees out of here, dead branches, so it uh, it's a big help. It, there's quite a bit back here, and I'm waiting for some gravy right now. Like I showed you gravy earlier, <clears throat> you see that that, uh, that branch up there, I don't know if you can tell that it's dead, goes out like that, but there's like, you know, ha half a truckload, or not half a truckload, but about a quarter of a truckload just in that one limb that goes all the way out, and then there's a couple other dead limbs on it. So once it falls, I get it cleaned up off the ground, and you can see it's pretty... The ground's pretty clear. There was a bunch of branches down here. So um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, like Joe's Premium Firewood on Facebook. Thanks.